So I am filming this video today because um, I just bought a new base, the Fender Precision Deluxe Special. And um, yeah, I was, when I was waiting, I was so excited and I was looking up videos on YouTube of it and I saw that there wasn't a lot of them. And when I get new gear, I always like to kind of obsess over it before I get it and um, look up videos and all that and get myself pumped up. Uh, so I figured I'd do it for anybody else that is uh, thinking about, will you stop growling? I'm sorry, she's growling back there. Uh, for Yeah, for anybody that's thinking about buying one, uh, I wanna show you, uh, this is mine. I just got it a few days ago. This is her right here. Beautiful bass. I got the maple neck. It is uh, made in Mexico, of course. Would love to get an American, but you know, didn't have the, the money for that. Got the pearl inlays. Looking pretty good. The finish is pretty nice on it. I, I was scared that it was gonna be a little too light for me because I don't really like the light uh, burst, but this one is a nice dark. It looks a little lighter on the the video, but in person it's, it's a nice dark fade. Love this this high mass bridge that they put on it. It's amazing. The sustain on it and the hold on the notes, amazing. And then you got the the jazz pickup. You got the, the split P pickups. Volume. Here's the blend of the two pickups. You have the highs, lows, and mids when you're in uh, active mode. And this is the active mode and passive mode switch. But yeah, overall I'm very very happy with my my purchase this is the back of her have the, the two nine volt the, the two nine volt battery slots this is actually pretty cool they actually swing open for you comes with batteries too which is nice but yeah they open up like that Here goes your input but yeah Close them up. Very solid base. Not too heavy, but it definitely feels like it's well made. That is for sure. Yeah. I hope this helps out anybody that's looking to buy one. You can obsess over one until you get it. If that's what you're looking into, but I definitely recommend it. I actually thought I was going to be running it more in the B or at least be more stoked about the active mode on it, but I was surprised how good the passive mode sounded. So I'm going to have to play around. Um, I'm normally, well, I'm normally behind a drum set. I'm a drummer, and but I'm looking to get back into bass because I always loved playing bass. So I figured why not get back into it, you know, broaden my horizon but yeah if you guys have any questions definitely don't hesitate uh leave a comment and yeah i'll get back to you